Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Randy, and in this video, I'm setting up April in my bullet journal. I'm also wrapping things up for March and flipping through those pages for you guys, so if it's something you'd be interested in, keep on watching. This video is pretty short, and my process of doing everything in here is pretty quick. I have a few different videos where I go into how I use my bullet journal as a planner and the initial monthly setups. I can link those in the cards as this video goes on, but basically, I like to keep my bullet journal very simple. I use stickers from my Etsy shop to help speed up the process, and a lot of things stay the same from month to month. That's just what's easiest and the most sustainable for my lifestyle, and I don't really like a lot of fuss in my everyday planner because as my planning history will reveal too many extra things that require extra time and effort outside of what I'm already putting in will make me stop using my planner. And I'm at this weird point in my planning journey where I'm not really interested in using my planner as a distraction or a procrastination tool, but I've definitely done that before, especially when I was a student. Let me know if you have any questions about anything you're seeing in this video. For March, I set up a few pages for content planning, and as you could guess from my lack of videos last month and the lack of check marks on those pages, things didn't really go as planned, but that's okay. I know sometimes looking back at an incomplete tracker or spread can be pretty discouraging, so I try to see it as space to grow. Maybe make a few tweaks so that tracking these things and completing these tasks are more attainable and I try not to compare myself to people who I admire for their successes and productivity who also share their planners and instead I just try to implement things that I know will help push me in the direction that I'm trying to go in to achieve my own version of success. For March, I also tried adding a weekly section to my daily logs. I knew that I wasn't quite ready to dedicate a whole section to weeklies in my March chunk, so I was just adding different layouts that I thought could work. For April, we have the simple cover page, the same monthly view over two pages, and then I decided to have a more blank canvas approach to content planning. Obviously, I think calendars are great, but I wanted to see if something like this would work better for me right now. And then for the daily logs, I've added a horizontal weekly log for tasks and appointments, and we're going to see how this plays out. Also, a little tweak I've made to keep my interest in this journal up is that I've swapped out my date stickers for April, and I'll probably continue to use this style of stickers for the rest of Q2. After moving my page flag around, that is pretty much it for my April setup. I know it's pretty bare bones, but my daily logs are the meat and potatoes of my bullet journal and things will definitely fill up as the month goes on. To wrap things up for March, I'm filling in the table of contents and collections with things that I didn't get to during the month and also I just wanted to save for the filming of this video. And then for the very last thing, um, I have my bullet journal monthly reflection and you will see that in a second. But that's it for this voiceover. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, and I hope you stick around because I do have a lot of videos coming for this month. Okay, I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!